Hello there, making line follower robot is interesting and detecting the line mostly uses infrared based sensors. And here we have some commonly used infrared sensors. Let's start with the iconic UTR 8 channel sensor which is small but it has some problems like the sensing distance is very low and we can individually control the sensitivity. Also there are no indicator LEDs. It is the IR obstacle sensor which has a larger sensing range, sensitivity adjustment and indication LED. The problem with the sensor is we need to stack these sensors to get a array and that will become heavy and bulky. The next one is this DCRT5000 sensor. To interface this we need to use lots of other components and soldering required. And the final one is this tiny QRE1113 sensor. This is the same sensor that we can see in the QTR sensor. So in a nutshell, these sensors have some problems in some way. So I decided to build my own sensor. And this sensor should have a higher sensitivity range, can control the sensitivity intuitively and finally the LED indication. Here is my line sensor array. It has all the mentioned features and works well. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how I made this. Let's get started with this video. Everything started from this LM358 op -amp comparator circuit. Here I connected variable resistor to set the reference voltage and the photodiode is connected to the non-inverting terminal of the op -amp. If the voltage crosses the reference voltage then we get the output. You can connect two sensors to a op -amp. So I added two more op -amps and connected total of five sensors. This is the final circuit. Now I converted it into a PCB then I designed the PCB. While designing the PCB I placed the LED and the variable resistors on the top side and the sensors on the downside. Our PCB looks something like this after the design. Now to fabricate the PCB, I generated and downloaded the Gerber file. Then I went to jlcpcb.com to fabricate the PCB. I chose the LCPCB because they offer only $2 for 5 good quality PCBs and their PCB assembly starts from $0. Ordering the PCBs in JLC PCB is very easy. Just click on order now, then upload the Gerber file. Now select the quantity, color, and thickness if you want. I chose the black color and select the shipping method and finally place the order. That's it. After two weeks, I received the pack from JLC PCB. Here are our PCBs. The PCB looks nice and the quality is super. Now let's grab all components and start soldering. I started with the SMD ICs. Then I soldered the resistors. Finally, I soldered the LEDs. After completing the SMD soldering, I placed the variable resistors and soldered. Then I inserted and soldered the photodiode and IR LEDs. Finally, I placed the header pin and finished the PCB soldering. Now let's test the PCB, for that I connected 5 volts to the PCB and see the working. Everything works well. You can download the circuit diagram from my website, link is given in the video description. So that's it, this is how I made my own line array for line follower robots. Hope you enjoyed and learned something new from my video. If so, please consider supporting me by liking, sharing and subscribing. That's all up to you, thank you.